What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Today, as you can see by the title, we're going to talk about the RD9 by Ontario. So, uh, it's a pretty bitchin' blade. I actually do like it. Um, uh, these are discontinued. You know, obviously Ontario is out of business, so actually they're all discontinued. But these were even discontinued, I think, when Ontario was still around. Uh, but I don't know why. They're pretty badass knives. Um, I, I do like the whole RD series. My favorite are the NS series. So, I like the ones with the recurve. But, uh, you know, so I was like, yeah, but, you know, I did like the, this long one, this one. And it's very similar to, I should say not, I should say size and shape somewhat of the BK9. Uh, but, you know, I prefer BK9 over this one, you know, just personal preference. But let's get into it. Check this out. Let's do a drive-by. Boom. It is a nice looking blade. It is a nice looking blade. I'd have to say. Um, nice thick, uh, Stock here, it's 0.24, so almost a quarter inch thick. You got a nine inch blade length, overall 15. Well, I think it was 14 and some change long. Um, this one has wooden handles here, pinned in, so you can, uh, if you wanna go to the knife connection or somewhere like that and get aftermarket ones, you can. So it's just like the Becker's, uh, the, uh, you know, like the BK series, you change out the handle scales, you can do that. Um, right there, you can tell it says Ontario. Let's see if I pick it up. Ontario USA and then here RD9-DG so it does have a nice little jimping right here um, it's not too aggressive it feels pretty good in hand uh, nice little skull buster pummel there I think all the NS series have those too like the RD series um, just awesome I like it the handle is a little bit fat for me I got bigger hands so I'm not too worried about that but I do hear a lot of complaints that this swell right here is too big they should have made it a little bit a little bit uh, smaller swell instead of such a fat predominant swell, which I, I agree with. It is a little bit awkward in the hand when you grab it. It does You do feel it quite a bit. It takes a lot of the uh, real estate in your palm there. So, um, but it's not, not too bad. It's not too bad. And there's a Ranger series. You can see there. So it does have this coating over it, which, you know me, I'm not a big fan of coatings, but it's not too bad. Um, this one, it calls out, it says high carbon still on the website, but... I think this one is 5160. I believe these were all made of 5160, these ones here, which is a tough ass metal. Not bad at all, you know, and this thing did come razor sharp, freaking brand new, razor sharp. Um, so, you know, uh, I ended up selling this one. So that's why I'm not gonna do, a, I was gonna do a Hardee's, my plan was to do a Hardee's review on this and, uh, you know, show you guys, you know, I mean, there's a, bit, there's a bunch out there you guys can go check out, but I was gonna do my own. But I had a buddy of mine <laughs> that loved it. And he's like, man, that's badass. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pay for what you pay for. I'll give you 10, 15 bucks over what you paid for. Let me have that one. So uh, I told, you know, he's a good friend. So I told him, okay, I'll do it. You know, so let me just do at least a tabletop review for it first before I sell it. And then I'll uh, sell it to you. He said, okay, cool. So yeah, you know, um, and it's not my favorite. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. But I like the way the BK9 chops more. I like the other ones. I even like the NS9 style better than this one i mean it's nice don't get me wrong this is a badass knife and this is a working knife but it's just not my favorite so i don't i wasn't too upset too uh, uh too reluctant reluctant to let this go so it does have somewhat of like a little built-in half choil right here you can kind of choke up on it if you need to get close not too bad not too bad guys um i think it's cool i think it's a pretty cool bitchin looking blade um I wouldn't mind keeping this and testing it out, but again, there's a friend that really wanted it. And uh, I was like, you know what? What the hell, you know? Gotta pass on the, the good vibes, right? So I let, him, uh, I let him buy it. But not too bad, not too bad. I, I said, I do like it. I do like it. Maybe in the future, if I find a used one for a good deal or cheap or something, maybe I'll pick it up because I'm just gonna use it anyways. I'm not gonna use this for collecting. Um, and maybe I'll do a review for you guys for this. I got other ones I'm gonna do reviews on too, full hardiest reviews, but for right now, since it is kind of a rainy day, I'm just going to do a couple tabletop reviews for you guys. All right. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to show you this, the, the RD9 by Ontario. It is a bitchin' blade. Um, I recommend it. It's awesome. You know, like I said, the thickness goes all the way up to the tip. Just a bitchin' freaking blade. Bitchin' blade. Um, that's it, guys. All right. Please like, subscribe, and share. And until next knife, gun or whatever.